Um, a couple video or a couple things for this video I'm going to talk about is in our spelling packet. Um, on page 237, we talk about compound words, and then I'm going to go over some things in our grammar, which is 5.4.1, and we're going to talk about contractions a little bit. Um, I am just going to do this, and we're going to look at a whiteboard here. Um, get rid of those things. I can make this bigger and move all of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so we're going to talk about compound words and this is on page um, 237 in spelling. I'll just put SP for spelling. Um, when we talk about compound words, compound words are made up of two shorter real words. So both words are a real word. It's not a made up word. Um, so if you have the word reading, well, read is a real word, but ing isn't. So that is not a compound word. Um, a compound word would be something like hand. That's a real word plus cake. Cake is also a real word. There's two shorter real words right there. And that word equals pancake. Okay, um, another example of that would be if we had the word rain plus bow. Both are two shorter real words and that equals rainbow. Um, I'm gonna use another example from one of your spelling words. I am right now in the classroom. So we have a short word of class plus room, and that would equal classroom. Um, and so there are compound words, two shorter real words put together. Um, some other examples would be like playground or um, cupcake, baseball, um, basketball. Basket is a word and ball is a word. Um, football, foot is a word, a real word, and ball is a real word. Um, so those are some examples of compound words, which is um, two shorter real words put together. So that's in our spelling this week. Um, and then if I clear this, then in our grammar, which is um, 5.4.1 is grammar, we are talking about contractions. Um, so a contraction is a short way of writing two words. So we could have the word or the words do not. And that would equal, as a contraction, it would equal don't. Um, when we have a contraction, we have, and I'm going to circle it in a different color, we have something called an apostrophe. And that apostrophe um, is showing where a letter is left out, where we're, uh, the apostrophe is taking place of a, of a letter that we're leaving out. Um, and in this case, which letter is left out is the O in not. Um, we don't have that in our contraction. Okay, another one that we focus on this week is does not. And when we put that as a contraction, we have the word doesn't, but that apostrophe T. And again, that apostrophe is taking place of that O that is in not. Okay. Um, what are some other ones? Um, oh, I'm trying, I was looking at the worksheet, but looking at it wrong. We also have the word, oh, and I'm going to get this black is not, and we write that as 
isn't, again, with an apostrophe taking place of that um, O, that vowel there. And then um, we also have cannot. And that as a contraction would be can't. And actually, this um, cannot is one of your spelling words this week for a compound word because it's can not put together two real words. Um, two real short words together. So again, when we're writing contractions, it needs to have an apostrophe. Otherwise, it's wrong. So when we type don't, when we write, and when we type a contraction, when we write a contraction out on paper, we always have this apostrophe because that's replacing a letter. It replaced the O and not. Um, and then you get to some contractions with um, pronouns. And I'm just going to erase all of this because we're still on to grammar. Um, then we get to contractions with pronouns, and those look like, and I got to remember how to get my pen back, whiteboard. There, and I think I have my pen back. Perfect. Okay. So then we have like I am. Here I am. And if we make it a contraction, a shorter word, we have the word I'm. Okay. And again, we have that apostrophe, which is taking place of that, of the A. And the apostrophe is actually always taking place of a vowel letter. Um. Another one that we have is you will and see will. And those again would be changed to you'll, you will, and she'll, like she'll go to the movie. Um, a couple other ones we have are we are and they are and those are changed to were apostrophe re replacing that letter always have to have the apostrophe and they are um and then we have she is and it is so when we have she is and it is, I'm just going to write it over here. We have she is and it. So again, those are that's what we're talking about in spelling. We're talking about compound words. And in grammar, we're talking about contractions and how we can make um, the word shorter and have that apostrophe in each of these that replaces that vowel letter always have that apostrophe otherwise the word is incorrect it is not right <coughs> excuse me so that is for this week second graders perfect